kids. They can be huge jerks. They love to laugh at others' misfortunes. And I know this for a fact because I was one of them. This week on Sackville Sunday Stories. So crank it up. House parties, massive paper cut from here to here. There was a guy walking a ferret on a leash on Cobblehood Road. Do you guys remember when America's Funniest Home Videos first came out? Back in the 80s when it first launched, that show was nothing but people getting hit in the face, groin, falling downstairs, catching on fire. There is nothing that our generation love more than to watch somebody else eat dirt and get hurt. One summer, we decided to take a family vacation. We went up to see our relatives that lived in the Miramichi way out into the country. Wonderful time had by my parents. My brother and I, we were bored out of our tree. We had nothing to do. We didn't have friends. We didn't bring our bikes. We didn't bring our video game console. So what did we do? We just sprawled out on furniture going, ah, I'm so bored. But that's when dad's cousin said, hey, do you boys want to go next door and see a horse? Dad's cousin Cheryl said, okay, I'll take you boys over, but I need to point something out. There's two horses over there. There's a mare who's pretty good, but there's a feisty little colt and he loves to kick. So you better be careful. Now Cheryl would have only been about 20 years old at that time. And as we're walking over to the uh, horses, she's like, now watch out boys, that little one, he kicks. That little one, he kicks. Be very, very careful. Cause that little one, he kicks. We got over and the mare came over, we pet the mare, and the whole time, the whole time, the little colt was off in the background and he was just glaring at us. So we pet the horse and we're walking home. Ryan and I were running together a little bit ahead. Dad and Cher were walking behind us. And the entire time, that little colt was just kind of running off in the distance, giving us the stink eye, right? Just, just glaring at us because he did not like us to be there. Once we finished petting the horse, we started walking back to my Uncle Danny's house. So we're strutting along. My brother and I are running through the grass side by side. Behind us, about 10 or 20 feet back, is Dad and his cousin Cheryl, and they're walking. And my dad walks and talks like this, right? So we just look back, and he's just kind of telling a story or something. And then all of a sudden, we just hear... Ryan and I turn around. There's Dad and Cheryl walking side by side. The horse is charging right up behind them, that tough little colt that Cheryl warned us about three to 400 times to watch out that he kicks. He ran right past Dad and Cheryl, and just as he passed, woo, his hoof goes up, and it cleans Cheryl right in the face. Now, to her credit, to her credit, that woman did not go down. It staggered her. She had a big dirt hoof print on her face and she shimmied and shaked, but she stood there, turned white as a sheet. Dad goes, oh my God, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Now, being the two jerk kids, Ryan and I thought that was hilarious. We're like, yes, oh my God, she got kicked in the face. We're like, kicked in the face. Dad's like, shut up, shut up. She could be very hurt, she could be hurt. We're like, oh, but it got her right in the face. Did you see it in the face? Like in the face is like the ultimate place to get hit. So she staggers a little more, but for some reason, I don't know why, but that little colt, that little colt, I think he just kind of wanted to let dad know what's what, but he took that stupid long horse nose and he walked right up to my dad, like eye to eye, just glaring at dad. Now dad, dad was pretty angry, but all he did was he sticks his finger right in the horse's face and he goes, he probably wanted to swear, but he wouldn't swear in front of us. And he goes, you get out of here, you damn wimp. As he said, wimp, right? He said, wimp. And then Ryan and I thought that was funny too. But as if the horse knew what dad said, he just kind of went, Hur! this is like when the, when the pee and wimp came out. He was like, you wimp. The horse went, Hur! and he spun around again. And this time he goes for dad's face and he goes, Hur! the hoof comes up, dad slips it, the hoof goes by. But as his leg goes up that time past dad's face, that horse let out a huge, long horse gas release. So he goes to kick dad, dad moves and the horse just goes. 
releases gas. Ryan and I drop to the ground. We find that the funniest thing in the entire world. The horse tries to kick dad again, but each time he kicks, more gas comes out. Cheryl's staggering. Ryan and I are thinking this is the greatest thing we've ever seen in our life. We've never seen anything like this in Sackville. So the horse tries to kick my dad and ends up breaking wind in his face. Ryan and I now believe we're going to die. We are laughing so hard. Nothing in the world is funnier than a horse trying to kick your father in the face after he calls him a wimp for kicking your cousin in the face. But he just lets this huge toot right in your dad's open mouth. Ryan and I tears streaming down our face. Cheryl's still staggering. The mini colt just running around, glaring at everybody. He wants to kill us all. Ryan and I manage to get up. We run back to Danny's little farmhouse there, burst open the door. We're like, Cheryl just got kicked in the face and then the horse farted on dad. And we are laughing and everybody in the house who's from there, who understands horses is like, oh my God, was she, was she hurt? We're like, we don't know, but it got her in the face. And we laughed and laughed and laughed. And then when you become an adult, you kind of look back on things like that and you think, ah, oh, what a jerk. What a jerk I was. Did, did kids just don't have any level of empathy. They just see somebody get taken out and they absolutely love it. What was your favorite accident that you laughed at inappropriately? Put your comments in below. My name is Chad and you're watching Sackville Sunday Stories. This channel is for you, whether you're an old school sack villain or a new school sack vegan. We'll see you next time on Sackville Sunday. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobbaquid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save. And still going strong after 43 years, Kaiser Subs. Yum!